Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another Matchbox Monday episode. I've got some pretty interesting ones to show you for this week. Uh, these are going to all be trucks, kind of larger trucks. And uh, we're going to start with this one right here. This is the scaffolding truck, which is actually modeled after a Mercedes. You can see the Mercedes logo right there in front. Um, it is in 191 scale. This particular model that you're looking at right now came out in 1969, and this thing is in very nice shape for its age. It is quite nice indeed. Uh, and then it was a super fast 1970 and 1971. So let's take a look at the model. Uh, first of all, it's got these this plastic, I guess, scaffolding. I'm not sure how this is supposed to be put together, but. Uh, my guess is these are supposed to be broken apart and then you put it together like that <clears throat> right now they're still linked together and of course I'm not going to break these apart to build scaffolding but uh, they got like holes on the bottom so it looks like you can stack them up and uh, I don't know it's pretty interesting uh, but those come in the back of the model pretty cool little plastic piece oh here we go so that would be the the plank there. Uh, I don't know if we can do this without taking these apart, but let's just try one thing here once. If we put two like that. Put this there. I don't know how many of these little boards it was supposed to come with. Anyway, you kind of got some scaffolding there. So really cool. There's just one of these in there, and then there's this stuff. And then here's the model. So it's all metal except for this plastic little base piece right there. It is made in England. It is a Lesney. Um, very, very nice little truck. Rolls well. Uh, the paint is uh, r really nice on it. And obviously it's stood the test of time so far. But this is a really, really cool one. So check that out. Let me know what you think about that. That's a cool old... Uh, matchbox right there. All right, so we'll move this aside. We're going to take a look at the next one. Uh, the next one's a more kind of common tooling that we've seen: the Collectomatic, Collectomatic refuse truck. Uh, this is modeled after a Ford. I don't think it says Ford on here anywhere, but according to my resource, it's modeled after a Ford. Here's a take a look at the base, number 36 in the lineup. This is in 186 scale. This particular variation of it, I believe, came out in 1981. And I think they were available from 1981 up to 2001. They've made this uh, refuse truck. It's got like a little sliding thing right here that opens the back. So some moving parts. Uh, the paint looks really, really nice on this one. It's pretty much the whole truck part is metal, including the base and then the, the garbage business end of it is uh, plastic but it looks pretty nice and I think that's kind of a cool one a refuse truck but yeah they put it out a lot of years I mean they put it out all the way up to 2001 they were making some sort of iteration of this truck I'm sure it lost its metal base over time and who knows maybe even this slide bit right here so there's that one and then the next one we're going to take a look at is this little guy right here this is the cattle truck this one is made in england copyright date 1976 i believe this variation was the one that came out in 1977 and i think it was available at the 77 and 78 i think you get this same variation it's modeled after a dodge and it says dodge right on the front so it's the dodge cattle truck and uh, this truck was released all the way up to 2000. Now it's supposed to have some cattle in the back. I think it came with two um, animals, but uh, they're not with this piece. I don't know where they would be. So it's not complete really, but it's in really, really good shape for its age. I don't really see, there's barely anything. I don't see any nicks or flea bites really on this thing looks really good so it's all metal construction uh, except for of course the bed and the bed is a really uh, what feels like a very high quality plastic 
Uh, the bed doesn't move around or anything like that. There's no opening bits on the bed. It just it is what it is. And I think it's pretty cool. So, and they use this all the way up to 2000. So for many, many years, they put out some sort of iteration of this uh, Dodge cattle truck. All right, so we got two more to look at here. This next one, I think I've actually shown this one in a previous video, not this colorway, but uh, this articulated truck. This is kind of an interesting little uh, Matchbox model, super fast model, where it's got this little goofy looking little truck cab here. And then it's got this uh, trailer. And we'll take a look at the bottom of this first. There it is, articulated truck. This one's seen some better days. It, it, it looks okay, but there's a look at the base there. So this particular variation of it, I believe, was available from 1978 to 1980. Uh, the truck itself was produced, I think, from 73 to 80. And again, I use uh, BAMCA.org. Uh, as my resource for these videos, and I just look them up quick. I don't really spend a lot of time trying to research them too much. I mean, I'm sure I could find out a lot more about them if I did that, but it would take too much time. This is in 190th scale, apparently, but I don't think it's modeled after any sort of real um, vehicle. But kind of a cool truck. I mean, I've seen this in, like, you know, flea markets, whatever, what have you. And usually it's just a little truck thing and this thing's missing or there's a little trailer and the truck is missing. They don't really stick together. Like you can just lift it right off. So I'm sure they got separated from each other a lot. All right, so there's that. And then lastly, we got this one right here. This one's pretty cool. Cement service. This is a girder truck called the girder truck matchbox girder truck number 58 listening in england it's modeled after a daf truck which i think is a i don't know it's a european manufacturer so it comes with these girders looks like we got uh, eight girders and they might like snap together or something. I don't know. It's maybe like that. Pretty interesting. I don't know, you know, if they put all these things together. You got the scaffolding. This is the girder truck. They had a lot of like little ones, like with little accessories like this. And again, the plastic on these feels uh, very high quality. So just had a just was held on there with a rubber band, just a standard rubber band. This is not a rubber band that came obviously with the casting. It would be completely rotten by now. But here's a look at the truck. It's all metal, except for that plastic bit right there. Uh, this was actually 68 to 69. You could get it in this variation. And then it was a super fast, with super fast wheels. I converted for that. And that was 1970 and 1971. They converted it to a super fast. But really, that would be a different tooling. Because they have to tool it completely different between using these axles and using the super fast wheels and axles. So, but this is really cool. I mean, you got again some accessories with it. I imagine most of the time when you find this truck, I'm sure these girders are missing, but they, they fit uh, really well right here on the uh, bed of the truck. And definitely kind of an interesting matchbox model. Very nice. And really cool. So there's that. So let me know what you think is your favorite. I think I, my favorite is this one right here, the scaffolding truck. I think that's a really cool looking little truck. This is probably my second favorite. I like these old ones with these old style wheels. They do look pretty cool. The refuse truck is pretty cool. This thing is kind of, the color on this is really nice actually. It's kind of like burnt orange, kind of metallic look. I think it looks real nice. So all together, this is a good episode of Matchbox Monday. So if you like these, uh, again, check out the playlist, the Matchbox Monday playlist, um, where I've got 
quite a few videos now up, up there. And uh, we're going to keep doing this for a while until I run out of content to show you, which is going to happen eventually here, and probably sometime this year. And then Matchbox Monday will be discontinued, and we'll have to replace it with some other weekly uh, type of video. But for now, we still have a few more to go through, a few more weeks. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about these trucks in the comments down below. Again, if you like these uh, videos, go ahead and check out the playlist. And uh, yeah, that's going to be great. So hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, have yourself a great day.